Okay, I'm gonna try a new little game here. I can figure out how to work it. Uh, Kasulu saves the world. Commentary off, because I'm gonna provide that myself. Uh, for countless ages, that, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rylea. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from a high, high atop a yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. It's no fun for him. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Gah, after waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. Vote for Trump? He would have to become a true hero. Only become, by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Mwahaha, foolish narrator. While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the way to regain my power. Whoa, fourth wall. Where's the, where'd it go? Fourth wall is broken. Whoops. <laughs> I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero. But only so that I can regain my powers, summon Relea to the surface, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Well, not born, per se. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. The great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Wow, there is no fourth wall in this game. Hold the left sheet shit English, please. Hold the left shift key while moving to run really fast. Mwahaha, foolish game developer. By giving me the ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trade-in value drops. Apparently Cthulhu has met GameStop. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Press the tab key to bring up your menu. From here you can check you can chat with members of your party, check out your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, save your game, or teleport back to the cities you visited. I can save at any time. What is this, a first-person shooter? Okay, apparently Cthulhu has been very aware of what's going on while he's been sleeping under the ocean. Use abilities like insanity slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out. A few enemies become more dangerous when insane. Yeah, humans. There will be no watching out. I shall bestow the gift of insanity, insanity upon all. I don't suffer from insanity. I enjoy every moment. Build up your combo count with hits, then unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like Death Blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's all right with you, I'd like to play the game, actually play this game sometime this year. Cthulhu, I am with you on this one. Good luck. Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destinies no matter what the cost to humanity. Okay, so. I got uh, three one ups. I like that idea. Come on, Cthulhu. We will run now. Yep, okay. What's this? Aha! A helpless maiden be set by vicious monsters. I will rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. Although if you read Lovecraft, Cthulhu doesn't actually do much if people doing things in the name of him, but, you know. Okay, I can't pronounce that. And I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Hey, whatever works, man. A Guez approaches. And a Guez approaches. Look like, I don't know, like weird plants. Round one begins, monsters are at normal strength. Okay, attack. We'll just attack that one. Okay. 
back that one too. Oh, goodbye. I don't want it to hit me. Ooh, come on, kick some ass. You're better than this and you know it. Okay, defeated the Guez. Is Guez is both the things. All enemies are defeated. Ooh, level four. Let's see, do we want level up A, which is insane strength, or insane magic? Die, foul slime monsters. Oh, they were slime monsters, not plants. As Cthulhu defeated the final star slime monster, he returned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. Warning, image display not, may not reflect reality. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. My hero. Hero, indeed. Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. No. Dagon. I, I think you need tentacles on your face to pronounce that, and I don't have them. At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Rah. Oh, brave warrior who has saved me from a gooey death, let me join you on your noble quest. Okay, we something here. Do you do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea and call them my friends. So really need a life, Umi. Pass. Oh, and I have this trident which I use to stab things. Oh, that's more like it. Above all, I, Umi, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion, you great big hunk of handsomeness. Okay, this is turning into a hentai as I watch. Yes, the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Wow. Yay, does this mean we're dating now? Oh my god. That's okay. I don't even know how to react to that. No, we're in a strictly rock star groupie relationship. For now. He he he. Okay. Umi has joined my party. Now that you have a second party member, you can use the chat command. You can also use multi-character unite techniques in battle. Gain more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are now active in this dungeon. Looks like a beach. Okay. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you'd like to fight beyond that, press the tab key to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go this way. Ooh, a cave. The town of Miskatonia is just past this series of caves. I'm sure there are some heroic deeds you could do there. To Miskatonia! Okay. Oh, I save point. We'll save in slot A that doesn't actually exist. But okay. I'm not going to question this thing. It's easier not to ask. Wow, this is this is a little. Oh, I thought that was the exit. I thought this was a really small cave. Okay, so where are we going? We'll go up these stairs. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon only with the food. Oh, random encounter. A gull, a gull, and a crab. Wow, that's... I don't have any... Insane strike. We'll make the gull crazy. You know. Oh, okay. I... don't like crab, so I'm going to kill him, and I'll let her hit the crab. You can have a cool little name, little game, as in English game is totally on point today. Um, let's see, we want to level up her hide, less likely to be attacked by enemy. Okay, we'll go with that. No, I, I hate caves like this because I never have any idea where I'm going and I can wander around for hours with no clue what I'm doing. Of course, that happens to me a lot in real life too. Treasure chest. I got a fleece tunic. 
why does Cthulhu need a fleece tunic? I, I'm, I'm trying to picture this in my head and it's just not happening. I guess we'll go uh, here. Oh, another ring. Okay, now we have goblins and giant rats. We went from dolls and crabs. Why does everything begin with G? We'll stun a rat. Okay. Make him crazy. I'll just play. Makes a great pet. Okay, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. We'll just do a regular attack on him. Yeah, there we go. Um, which way? Which way? This way? I'm stuck on a stalagmite. Stalagmite. Whichever one comes out of it. Or, I don't know. Oh look, I found a dead end. Go me. I'll probably find a lot of those. <laughs> it's, I think it's stalagmites that come out of the floor. Cause, yeah, stalactite see the ceiling. Uh oh. Hello, another fight. And we're back to the dolls and the crabs. Okay, the gull is insane and stunned. The crab is insane. It's fantastic. Why are the monsters 110% strength? I, I, I don't really like that idea. Okay, we took out one gull. 120 strength. No, I, I, I don't like this idea. No, why didn't you kill the crab? Okay, everyone kill the crab. There we go. Okay, this really is a fun little game. It's a kind of old school, and I kind of like that. Like, I like modern stuff, too, with good graphics and... Okay, we can't go through. Good graphics and stuff, but it's nice to play a little old-fashioned RPG, especially with one of my favorite characters in the whole universe, Cthulhu. He's just so darn cute. Yes, I realize I am strange. What is this? As we near completion of the game, we made the, a discovery. The layouts of some of our dungeons were too complicated and players were getting lost. Including some sort of sophisticated mapping system would have taken a lot of time that we didn't have, so instead we added lanterns in some of the dungeons to help guide the players to the next area. Wow. Okay, so we look for red lanterns. Oh, another fight. Whoa, giant angry snail monster. Okay, I don't want to be friends with that thing. Tastes good with salt. Okay. Scavenger of food and you immune to massive damage from weak points. Okay. I don't like this. Attack. Gull. Attack. Thingy. Okay. Now we can take out the crab. There we go. Okay, now we can't take out the crab. Now we'll take out the crab. <laughs> stats up or stats up for strength and vitality, magic points, and plus three magic. I don't have any spells yet, so we're going to go with that one. Okay. Move right or left? Right or left? Left. It was a completely arbitrary decision based on absolutely nothing whatsoever. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I want to get the treasure chest, so we're going to go the other way. Go back. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, it's a baby and a mama. The baby's kind of cute. Let's see. 
insane strike. Loves rouge lipstick. Wow. That is not something I would have expected. I would have not expected. Do snails have lips? Someone tell me in the comments if snails have lips, because I really want to know how the cool guy is going to wear lipstick without them. Nope, nope, nope. Down we go. There's our chest. I got five potions to eventually figure out what potions do, I guess. But, uh, okay, here we go. Okay, back to the left. To the, oh, a giant red. That is the angriest looking seahorse I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Okay, insane strike to the giant rat. Attack, grab. Well, took him out, didn't it? Attack, see, the seahorse likes teddy bears and jelly beans. He looks awfully mad. Okay. Well, that's two down. Okay, just regular attack on the crab. There we go. We is kicking some butt. Me and my psychotic stalker that kind of reminds me of the, uh, what's that mean? The overly obsessed girlfriend or whatever it is. Yeah. Something like that. Oop, another bell. Two angry seahorses and a demon snail. Okay. Give him an insane strike. Okay. Siren's calling him. Attack, angry snail. Woohoo! Okay, blind strike. Blinds, blind targets one group, 60% blind. Okay. A little heroic music, you know. He's all good. Okay, now where do we go? Are we still in the cave? Wait. We went in that cave and all, just to come out up here. There's a whole lot of walking when they could have just built steps. A ladder. What's that on the horizon? I'm Alona Lena. Wow. On behalf of the Earth, we will right wrong and triumph over evil, and that means you. Switchblade's the name I'm here to steal from the wicked to give to the just. You think you're Robin Hood. I am Dash the Daring. My courage is only rivaled by my good looks. Yeah, you're a douchebag. The three heroes of goodly justice. Dark Fiend Cthulhu, we will defeat you. Wow. You're a Dark Fiend? You should have told me. That's so sexy. Wow. I see you've used your vile magic to ensnare that beautiful maiden. Release her. I would if I could. Please. If I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much hotter. Hey. Yo, narrator, do I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm going to beat them up anyway. Virtue always triumphs over evil. We're sure to win. Your friend over there doesn't look too virtuous, hiding behind that cloak and all. Okay, I'll... I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. Mwahahaha, <laughs> puny humans, even with my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to deal with you. Prepare to be defeated. I thought we were going to fight on the ladder for a second there. That would have been weird. Is having trouble adjusting to 16 bit. Very susceptible to peer pressure. Keeps daggers in his boots. Okay. We're going to hit the cleric. Oop, the hero's insane. We're just going to drive them all crazy. It'll be fun.
backstab. Oh no. Okay. 130% strength. I don't like that idea too much. Come on, we can do this. 150. Wait, I thought these guys were heroes, not monsters. Okay. Ooh, fireball. We get a spell. I like that idea. Cthulhu 1, lame hero 0. They're okay. We just can't kill them. But they're adventurers. I wouldn't worry about it. They probably already respawned at the nearest church. There is no fourth wall in this game. I wonder if we'll meet them again. Probably. Enough contemplation. Onward to heroism. A lot of ladders going on here. Okay, so I don't really know what to do about that. Okay, so now where do we go? Into another cave. Okay, come on, Cthulhu, we're just gonna wander here. A little long cave. Oh, okay, it turns up here. Come on, overly attached girlfriend. I hope this isn't the one I just came out of. I don't think it is, but I had to pause and take a phone call, so with me, you never know. Oh my god, I think this is the one I just came out of. No, it isn't. Oh my gosh, four enemies. I don't like having four enemies. I don't want to have four enemies. No. Let's fireball the goblin. Attack one of the rats. Woo! Bye, goblin. Oh dear, that's a lot of hits. Um. Okay. Two hits isn't so bad. Let's see. So I let Umi give him a hit, and then I let Sulu finish them off. Seems to be a good strategy. Oh yeah, okay, this is a different cave, because I don't remember that ladder. Ooh, treasure chest, yay. What do we get now? 75 gold. I wonder what you can actually do with gold in this game. Haven't seen anything yet. Oops, stuck on a stalactite again. Okay, well, since that didn't work, I guess we go this way. Or is this the way we came from? Uh, the joys of having a terrible sense of direction. Okay, more monsters. How about... We'll hit Mr. Crab with a, with a fireball and cook him. Oop, Crab is defeated. Probably should have done that the other way around. Now that I think about it. Woohoo! Okay, they're all dead. I do not know where I am. I'm back at the beginning, aren't I? Yes, I am. Again, yay for having no viable sense of direction. And even worse when you're trying to tell me how to get somewhere in real life. Oh, four enemies. What in the... A dolphin with a spear and a rope. Well, I did not expect that. Um, okay, we'll take out one of the crabs. Her idea of playful involves harpoons and pain. Wow, that's a kinky, kinky dolphin. We'll blind the crabs. Well, one crab is blind, yay. Okay, getting attacked here. Fireball. 
we're not going to use insanity strike on the dolphin because I'm pretty sure she's already out of her fucking mind. Since, you know, she's just getting kinky over there with, uh, okay. Hit them with blood. All right. I don't like how much strength these guys are at. I'm not sure why she has... Oh, we're going to heal Cthulhu. There we go. Didn't know we could do that, but I am totally cool with it. Bye-bye, crab. My cat is trying to eat my jelly beans. Okay, so we'll go back this way and try not to get quite as lost this time. Okay, we'll try these stairs over here that probably go somewhere. I'm sure they go somewhere. Question being where. But only one way to find out. Okay, there's a little dead end. There's a, well, okay, we're not correct. Oh, there's that psychotic dolphin again. Okay. regular attack on the snail. Death blow did not kill the dolphin. That's not very helpful. Um okay, I don't even know what's going on. The cat just stepped on my keyboard. That wasn't very helpful. Okay, now what is what is this about? We'll let her take out the dolphin. I'll hit this guy. Ooh, we got rid of the kinky dolphin. Again, I probably should have done that the other way around. But, oh well. We took them all out anyway, so it's all good. Ooh, level up. Ailment combo, passive ability, combo count increases ailment success rate. Stats up. We'll do stats up. Okay. And little bridges going places. Still looking for those beacons. Oh, there we go. So if that's the way we're supposed to go, what's over here? Whoa. Okay. Oh, the happy little snails that like lipstick. Still having trouble figuring out if the snails have lips. That's two down. The snail stares blank. Wow. That's that's special. Woo. Okay. So since that's where I'm supposed to go, I immediately go the other way because I am just insanely curious. Oh, we can go in a big circle. No apparent reason. Okay. Now I'm very confused. Well, I guess if that's the way that took me back to the beginning, I should just follow the little lanterns and... Holy crap, that is the freakiest starfish I've ever seen, and I don't like it. Okay, we're, we're gonna do a fireball. Oh. Happy mouth fish didn't have quite the same ring to it. No, it's not a happy mouth. It's very. Wow, that didn't even kill it. We'll hit the gull. Um, blood everyone. Desperate bite. I don't like the sound of that. But, okay, we can take them out this turn. There we go. Okay, no one leveled up, but I'll just live with that. Oops, we can't walk through the lanterns. We have to walk between them. Beacons, whatever. Oh, we're still in the cave. Okay, on we go. It's like nice little old school 16-bit graphics going on here. It takes me back to my childhood. On the exit. Yay. 
Wow, we went through all those caves to move like two feet to the right. How many caves are there? Why are there so many? Too many caves. I don't like that. Ooh, I got an iron sword. Look at how you open your inventory. I would forget that. Oh, tab. Okay. Whip. Sulu. Weapon. Iron sword. Sulu equipped iron sword. Put on the fleece tunic. It's a lovely mental image. Okay, how do you go back? Okay, apparently that's how, because Lumi doesn't have any equipment, I guess. Aside from that stabby trident thingy. But yeah, I went up a ladder. This isn't the cave I came out of, I don't think. No. This is a different one. Okay, so we'll go this way. Do, 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 do. I guess you can go either way around the random underground lake, which seems to be a lot of in this game. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Still feels like Pokemon, but okay, we've got more. Psychotic enemies. We are going to fireball dolphin. And then we are going to attack the dolphin. Okay, we took out the dolphin. The dolphin kind of scares me. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Taking out these guys pretty good. Sulu leveled up again. Um, we'll increase vitality and wealth. Going along on the cave. Across the little bridge that looks like a ladder. Okay, so that's the where we're supposed to go. So there must be like a treasure chest or something over here, maybe. See. There's yay, another treasure chest. Ooh, 150 gold. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with those, but maybe there's like a store in the town. Oh. Some smiley snails and see. So we have the smiley snails and the man eating Starfish. Okay, that still didn't kill him. I would like you to die now. Thank you. Okay. So here we go through the cave. Back this way. Between the beacons. And yet another set of stairs into another barrel. A lot of caves going on here. Ooh, save point. So we'll save it here and we are going to end the video at that point. So y'all have a good day, night, whatever, and uh, hope you enjoy this video.